Welcome to our next edition of Thank Goodness is Solar. This is Raul Vergara with Color Based Solar Solutions coming to you today to talk about net metering and why net metering is so important for your solar rights. Net metering gives you the ability to overproduce your solar power and get fairly compensated for that solar power which you pay for, which you produce. Net metering is the biodirectional meter that the utility companies will install on your home and will allow you to read the excess production that you're not consuming at that time and allowing you to send it back to the grid and be fairly compensated when you get that back from the grid. What that means to you? You put a 10kW solar system at your house, your house is producing 8kW, you're using two to power your home, six are being sent to your utility company. In the evening, when you need that power back for your own use, you get it back from the utility company at the same rate. You send it to them, six kilowatt hours, you get back six kilowatt hours, that is the definition of net metering. And it is so important because it truly adds value to your solar installation. It means that you're fairly compensated for the energy which you are producing with your solar panels. Over the last years, one or two years, solar industry has been attacked from all angles. The utility companies would like nothing more than to take away from you your solar rights. Well, your solar rights are protected by Florida statute, but you have to stand up for them and you have to protect them. You have to understand how net metering affects you and you have to be willing to stand up to protect those rights because those are rights that bring you true value to your solar installation. Utility companies would like you to believe that when you send power back to them, it costs them money because they have to store it for you to give it back to you in the evening. While in the fact, the truth is that it's the opposite. You're sending power back to them when they need it the most. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon, when the demand is highest because the consumption across South Florida is the highest, you're sending power back to them. That saves them money. It saves them money because they don't have to build the power plants to produce that energy. You are part of the power grid. You are part of the solar power plant that we call South Florida because South Florida is a power plant. We have sunshine, endless, endless quality of sunshine. We are truly a renewable, gigantic, enormous power plant, and we simply have to put it to use. So by you installing solar panels on your home, you become part of that gigantic power grid. And when you're overproducing, you're helping the utility company so they don't have to invest the money into producing more energy through non-renewable sources like fossil fuels or fracking. You are part of the solution. Your house is part of that grid that produces the energy and your neighbors enjoy the benefits. And at the nighttime, you simply come back and use your own power, which didn't cost the energy company anything because they didn't have to store it somewhere. When you produced it, the your house you didn't use it, your neighbor's house used it. At nighttime, when you need it, it's just the same power they would have been producing anyway from that power plant. So net metering has value not only to you as a consumer, but to the power utility companies. But they would like you to believe that you are costing your neighbors money and your neighbors are having to spend more because they don't have solar. Well, the truth is that you are saving your neighbors money because by you making the investment and you going solar, the utility company has to spend less and therefore charge your neighbor less. So every solar home, every solar roof that we install in South Florida, with the use of the net metering, is helping everybody else in South Florida that does not have the ability to go solar at this time so that their power bills don't keep rising. You're helping maintain the value of electricity. So let's talk a little about what makes the net metering different from the regular meter. A net metering is a simple biodirectional meter that is installed on your home. That biodirectional meter receives the energy from the utility company, but also is able to recognize when that energy is being produced by your home and being sent back to the utility. During the daytime, when you're overproducing, that meter is actually spinning backwards. Remember the old meters? Remember the little dial? 
Now it's digital. You don't see the spinning, but it is actually measuring backwards. And if you look at your meter, it says receive and deliver. The meter is, belongs to the utility company. So when the meter says receive, it means the utility company is receiving energy. As the number goes higher, that means your house is overproduced and sent back to the utility company. The next area, it says deliver, D-E-L. That means that the utility company is delivering energy to your home. That's the energy that when your panels are not producing enough or at the nighttime when your panels are not functioning properly, that energy is then coming from the utility company and is being delivered to your house. At the end of the month, you are going to be charged for the net difference between the two. You send a thousand to them, you receive a hundred from them, you're actually 200 kilowatt hours positive, and that means that on your bill, you're going to see that your reserve accounts went up by 200 kilowatt hours. And those kilowatt hours that you put into reserve, you now may use some other month in the year when you don't produce enough power. So for example, an average consumer on the flow of power and light might overproduce January, February, March, and April, for example. And then those accrue kilowatt hours that they put away during those first few months of the year, they're gonna use them during you know, June, July, August, September, when they're actually running more than one air conditioning unit or using more power and therefore getting some power from FPNL. So it's very important that you understand how this process works and you protect it. You're vocal about it and you stand up for your solar rights, which you have on the floor of the statue, to make sure those rights aren't taken away. It's very important that your lawmakers understand how important it is to you to preserve net metering because net metering truly brings value to you, but more importantly, it brings value to your community. Your community benefits from your solar production and don't let the utility companies tell you otherwise. Solar helps everybody. Solar helps your community maintain low prices for electricity. Solar maintains grid stability. Solar makes the grid work smooth and with less power generation far away from your home where it has to be brought to your house. It actually makes it more secure because the power generation is right next to where you're consuming it. And that is the most secure grid where you have localized consumption from localized production. A lot of areas, they don't enjoy net metering the way that we enjoy it with the public utility companies. In Florida, if you're uh, being served by a uh, co-op or a governmental uh, entity, a non-for-profit uh, um, utility uh, co-op, you don't enjoy the same benefits. For example, we see it in Homestead. For you to understand the benefits of net metering, for you to understand how important it is to protect them, let's compare a home under Florida power and light and a home under homestead power. When we size a solar system for a house in homestead, we typically have to oversize it by at least 20%. And the reason for that is that the homestead power, because it is a not-for-profit organization, they don't have to abide by the same net metering regulations that the utility companies do. What that means to the consumer in homestead is that when they overproduce during the daytime, they receive a, a fair value for their power. In this particular case, they're receiving 5.5 cents a kilowatt hour. Where if you're selling it back through FPNL, you're only gonna get two cents a kilowatt hour at the end of the year when you overproduce. But in today's scenario, in today's day, I overproduce today 20 kilowatt hours. If I'm with FPNL, I send those 20 kilowatt hours back and tonight I got them back at the same value. On their homestead power, I overproduced 20 kilowatt hours, I send it to them. They gave me 5.5 cents a kilowatt hour, but tonight when it's time for me to get that power back, unfortunately, they charge me 11 and a half cents. So I overproduced, I sold it to them at five and a half, but then when I'm buying it back from them, I'm buying it at a higher rate. And that is not true net metering. True net metering will be sending it to them at 11 and a half cents and getting it back from them at 11 and a half cents. So while Homestead Power being a not-for-profit organization and they're trying to do a better job, unfortunately they're hurting their consumers. 
they're stifling the growth of solar. FPNL, by offering on the floor of the statue, which they have to, then through net metering, is able to give you the best value for your money. So again, make sure you understand it, make sure you understand the value of it, and make sure you protect it. Write to your you know, state senator, write to your state house of representative, let them know that you are a solar customer and that you would want your solar rights protected, especially net metering. We have to protect net metering in Florida. And again, we have to understand how it works. So thank you very much for joining us today. Hopefully you enjoy the information that we brought. Make sure you protect your net metering. Uh, and follow us on our YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell. That way we notify you when we're on. Until the next time, let the sun power your lifestyle.